The one is a brutal hard hitting sword, a legendary weapon within Dead Island 2. It's easily one of the most powerful weapons in the game and today guys I will guide you through how you get your hands on it. How's it going people my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Now I'm pretty sure most if not all legendaries are locked at some point or another behind completing the story campaign. So if you're following this guide and at some point you can't progress that's the reason why. Also guys I have seen a little confusion with how this weapon is obtained. Some people are tying it to multiple quests which I will cover anyway but I really ain't sure that is all needed. Anyway, let's start. So this legendary weapon is rewarded to you after you complete the mission, a beacon of hope. But this is the end of the quest line, which starts off way earlier. So to get to this point, you first need to do a side quest called It Came From Monarch Studios. To trigger this quest line, head to Venice Beach and to this safe house right here. Within here guys, there is a radio. Simply go interact with it. This is where you first will meet Sarah. So from here guys, you need to head to this point in Monarch Studios. Upon you getting here, you first need to clear the area of zombies, then speak with Sarah. She sends you to look for her pal Sebastian. From here guys, you must grab this bag and make your way to this point on the map. Here, you simply just have to take out waves of enemies. You then have to move to this point, remember to bring that bag with you. Again guys, take these zombies out to progress. You will then hear Sebastian. From here, go interact with him. Now you have to take out more zombies for putting that bag down. But once you've done that guys, then speak with Sebastian again and this quest is done. You now have to do the Tower of Sound Stage 7. This is another side quest, which is located right here on the map. Even if it isn't here uh, for you, if it isn't showing yet, just come here and Sarah will be waiting for you inside this trailer. Speak with her to pick up and start this quest line. From here guys, you need to head to Sound Stage 7 and take out all the zombies. Upon doing this, you have to progress on and investigate a hidden terror by examining three bodies. These bodies can be seen on screen now. From this point you then need to head outside and draw in 5 zombies and simply take them out inside the sound stage 7. You then have to use these special effects, upon you doing so the enemy of the terror of stage 7 will appear, simply take this dude out too. Upon doing this head back to Sarah and his quest is done. Ok so from here guys you need to head to Hollywood Boulevard to this point right here. Now Sebastian should be here for you but if he isn't I do believe you have to complete Amanda's quest line. Now a quick rundown on this, it consists of three side quests. The first starts real early on in Bel Air, she is found on a roof in the gold pen house. This is called clickbait. Upon completing this you then need to head to the pier area to this point. She will be on a roof waiting for you. Interact with her and complete this simple quest of like and follow. Once this is done, head back to that safe house and grab her phone, which will be right here. This gives you the quest or the going on quest of going viral, which will bring you back to Hollywood Boulevard. So at this point guys, again interact with Amanda, then simply do as she asks and complete this quest. If you haven't already, I won't spoil what happens, it's pretty cool. Ok so once this is done guys, Sebastian should be there for you. So speak with him. He then gives you the quest of Beacon of Hope. Once started you have to head to this point on the map and take the zombies out, then speak with Sarah. 
you are then sent by Sarah uh, to get a spotlight from the metro ticket station. Here you have to clear out a bunch of zombies and then get into this office by breaking those three circuit boards as you see me do on screen now. Now once you have that spotlight, head back to Sarah. Here you have to hold off zombies while Sarah gets to work stopping their flow. Upon clearing them out, Sarah asks you to put that spotlight in place. From here guys, head back to Sebastian and speak with him. He will then reward you with the one legendary weapon. And there you have it guys. This is how you get the one legendary sword, absolutely amazing weapon, one you don't want to miss. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.